All right, here we go. Olive scud. This is a pretty nice fly. I like to fish in rivers a lot. Pretty good for trout. You get a small mouth on there every now and then, though. Great fly to have. And I like to take my rib um, when I'm tying the thread down. I like to bring it all the way to the back just so I don't have to worry about whatever reason later when I'm like doing something for it to slip. But yeah, you don't really have to. It's just a precaution that I like to do. And now you take, you're going to tie in your tinsel. And it's double sided tinsel. It's gold on one side. I don't know if you can see that. Silver on the other side. And it is great attractor because, like, um, you can see it fit in the water. It's like almost like an indicator, and it works really well to track your fly. And you want it about two times as long as the fly. hook. It's one you're gonna want to do two. And yep. Now where did they go? That's the question. Okay, I'll get started now. So you're going to tie it in with the gold side facing up. If you're using dual sided, but then it doesn't really matter. But I'm using dual sided, so you want the opposite color that you're trying to use facing up at you. And you're just going to make a kind of a bigger loop at first. And then you're going to make them tighter and tighter and tighter. And you're going to want to snip it right about there. And you're going to want to tie it all the way up so you don't like see the thing poking through the dubbing. Because that would be a problem. Get it as close as you can. And then just tie the rest down. That's weird. I'm missing it. There we go. And that's, that's good. Now I'll get my second piece. Two times as long as the hook, I already told you that. Maybe one and a half, I mean, I don't know. It depends on what your preference is on how easy you want it to be. And then you just, same thing, you want them to both be the same color. Unless you do about, you can do three and alternate, but I don't really want to do that. And you want to bring it all the way back down the hook. And let me just double check. Good, that'll still work. As long as it can go to the front of the fly, you're fine. And then once you get those secured, then you're going to take, I'm using STS, uh, something dubbing and it's olive black leech I think it works really well for scuds because just the it's kind of fluffier than normal so it has a good nature in that sense so it'll look like legs more coming out the bottom and stuff and yep you just don't want it to be too tight or else you'll start turning into problems with like it'll look like a body and they'll be like I mean, I mean, not look like a body. It'll look like, like you'll see the thread through the dubbing if it's not, if it's loose, and then it'll be really ugly. Um, but once you get that on there, you might need a little more. Actually, I'm thinking, put a little more on there. Don't be stingy with your dubbing, guys. It's gonna mess you up later. Uh, let's get that on there. And then you're gonna put the tinsel in. So this is the trickiest part. So you're gonna bring your first side over, kinda on like half of the back, and then the other one's gonna cover the other half. So tie it on in the front the same way you tied it on the first time. And you just tie that down. Bring the other one over. Try and make the gap in between them as small as possible. It's okay if there's a gap, as long as you're not like dubbing coming out of it. There's that. Oh, 
taken away from you, sorry. I don't know how much you missed, I'm going to have to delete this one. Then I'm going to snip it. So, in case you missed that, I brought the dubbing from, I mean the tinsel from the back up to the front, and now I'm clearing out the eyelid. So you can, I use a dubbing needle to clear out my eyelid. I poke it up through there. And I just snip everything around it. Um, and if, if you get like float and stuck in there, or whatever, like head cement, you can use this to clear it out too. So dubbing needle, handy tool. Most of them have a half hitch thing on the back too. So before you whip finish, you can put that over that. And half hitch, but I prefer to whip finish. Two knots won't mess you up, don't worry. More than two half hitches, however, will come undone. If they're done at the same time. Three or four wraps. I don't know why that was twisting. And you just go like that. And you're good for the thread. Now you're going to want to clean up the top. Stuff coming out the top. You don't want it. You want it to all be angled downward. And make sure that your tinsel's in there good. My tinsel's in there good. I've had it fall out before. Actually, I have one to show you. That's what happens if you don't tie your tinsel in very good. It just comes right out. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Be careful of that. And then there you go. Olive scud right there. Good luck fishing.